A story in the spirit of the season. Remember the gift of the Magi and the choice some people make to give up what is dearest to them for others? John Berman found some people grappling with their choice. The First Baptist Church in Brattleboro, Vermont is being tested, a test of finance and faith. With the economy struggling, donations are down. The roof is leaking, the walls are cracking. The 19th century building needs work. How badly does it need it? Um, well, we operate on a wing and a prayer. We pray that the roof won't fall in and the furnace won't blow up. Meanwhile, the recession has boosted demands on the church's homeless shelter, now housing four times the numbers it did just two years ago. So how does the ledger book look this year for you? The ledger book is lean. With just $8,000 left in the bank, Reverend Suzanne Andrews says they faced closing the shelter unless they found some way to raise money. We realized that we had to do something and this is our only option. We have to part with our most treasured gift. That gift is a Tiffany stained glass window, a depiction of St. John the Divine that has graced the church for nearly 100 years. The rays of the sun just shine through this window and illuminate the whole church. Last month, the congregation voted to sell the window to keep the shelter open. It's more important to keep the church going, even without that beautiful Tiffany window. They've already received offers as high as $75,000. Those in the shelter have been moved by the sacrifice. I was very touched. Something like that, you, you just really don't want to let go of something like that. Pastor Sue says letting go will not be easy. In some ways, she says this has been the most painful holiday here, but also the most poignant. This window represents the faith of God's people. A window of more than glass, a window of hope. John Berman, ABC News, Brattleboro, Vermont.